I want to show you how to make this anklet with um, out of Chinese knotting cord and um, seed beads. It's got a sliding clasp, as you can see, um, and you can get the full tutorial on my blog at otherwiseamazing.com. So I've got my one yard length of cord um, doubled over and, and tied onto uh, a board. This is just an old picture frame that I've spray painted and put some measuring marks on. And I've got a half knot right here. I'm gonna take the um, three, length, three yard length of cord and I found the middle point. And I'm just gonna take the midpoint and put it just below the half knot. And get your lengths to either side and make the number four with your left hand cord. Um, this is just a basic macrame knot and I'll um, link to some other videos that really show this um, in detail. But you make a number, number four and then the other cord goes up, um, over and then around and through. And this first knot is sort of the trickiest because you have to do it while you hold everything in place. So you kind of have to do it one-handed almost. Okay. Okay. And just pull it snug right below the half knot. Then you're gonna do two more alternating sides. So, number four. Pull the other one up and through and pull it snug. Make sure you got it right up against that knot. And then this side again. Okay, and then next you want to um, thread all of your beads onto this right hand cord. So uh, probably about somewhere between 45 to 50 beads. Okay, so I've threaded um, 48 beads onto the right hand thread and then I just did a um, simple knot at the end so they won't slide off. And uh, and now we're gonna start adding beads. So you're doing the same knot, but you're just going to slide the bead up. Um, close, close to the uh, other knots. And then you make the four with the side that the knot, that the bead is on and bring the other side through and there now you have a bead on your anklet um, and then we're gonna go the other way so from now on you can always tell which side you're making the four with because it has the beads on it but you're not adding a bead every time so we do the four bring the other side up and through we're going to do a few with um, without any. We're going to do three, actually, without three knots, without any bead, just so they aren't all bundled up together, bunched up together, I guess. And one more. Am I doing this right? I just have to check every now and then that I have, I'm making the four with the one with the beads, otherwise I get lost, confusled. Okay. And then we're back to adding a bead. Slide one up, make the four, and pull this side through. And that's it. Essentially, you just keep on going. 
until it's uh, the length that you want it to be. So I'll do another three without a bead and add a bead. So I wanted to show you guys the slow motion version. So you can see I slid the bead up and now I'm making the four and pulling the left hand cord over and up and through. Now you do the same with the, make the four with the left hand cord. I'm really taking a long time here, aren't I? Okay, and then the right hand cord goes over and then up and through. Then I'm going to do another one without a bead on the right hand side. Number four, backwards four, and then the left hand cord comes over and up and through. And then another one on the left hand side, so. And that cord that on the right comes over and up and through. And then it's time to repeat, add another bead. 